If he had 72 sons by the same chick. But low key though, that's a come up. Cause that tax season, bro. Right. He was the cap on she it. Dead. I think she yeah. She's she definitely she dead. Small. You gotta think about it. You can only have to take triplets. <laughs> I mean, it is theoretically will. possible for her to have some toughness or something. Like oh, that. yeah. yeah. Like, 14 times. <laughs> Has somebody ever tried? Mm -hmm. To be like, how many babies never. can I have? Yo, nah, 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 nah. nah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 35 kids. Black Lives Matter movement, right, has created a whole paradigm of white people perceiving black people as the woe is me of all of all the people on the planet, right? You go, you what we did. You go be on the shade room tomorrow. He my did dude, it to himself. He did it to a degree, he did it to himself. but do my man <laughs> deserve to have to live this? For the rest I know, yes, right? he does. <laughs> Welcome to the Low Up Podcast to make you blow up podcast. My name is Lee. We're back for the final episode of 2020. We have the Avengers squad with us. That's my brother Al. We got Trav. We got Wild. Their stuff is right there. Um, we talked about a bunch of stuff. Entanglements and Epstein and uh, cancel culture. What happened in 2020? Black Lives Matter. There were a lot of things going on, so we had a lot to cover. This is kind of a lengthy one, but it was so fun to that it really doesn't even seem that long guys if you enjoyed the low up thus far let's go ahead hit that subscribe um it's gonna be on the link somewhere you can find it uh and and that's just about it let's just get started this is the low up enjoy the very beginning of 2020 I think the most momentous thing that happened this year was probably Kobe Bryant's death. Damn, bro. You just yeah, just sucked the air out right out the room. <laughs> but that's, that's what happened to me. Yeah, that's, that's 20, it. 20. It, it. It's not like it started any better. It, it, it started it. wild. Mm -hmm. My 2020 started with death, too. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, RIP mm -hmm. Granny. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. wow. My mind, you know what I mean? right. so yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's been that year. It's oh, wow. been that kind of year. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Really, you know I mean? Yeah, yeah. Damn, 2020. My 2020 was lit. Besides Kobe going? Yeah. And my COVID. Bi and COVID? <laughs> my business spin. Yeah, I mean, yeah. to be completely honest Money. with you, this has actually been <clears throat> my best year entre like, financially. as an entrepreneur. Made a lot of money this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, I had to move back home because of COVID. Yeah. So that kind of helped because the um, financial burden wasn't as much as it was, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, still, yeah, yeah. Is business was actually like, doing yeah. ironically well. Good. Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I had every anticipation that, oh snap, like business is gone. Like, yeah. all of the events that I was imagining that my clients were gonna be throwing, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I was like, oh, that's all gone. Like. The biggest event of the year that's gone, mm -hmm. like, and miraculously they were able to kind of really transform it, turn them all into virtual events, still mm -hmm. get the um, sponsorships that they needed, and yeah. just kind of picked up from there. And I was just like, wow, like, I'm grateful, you know? Yeah, like, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's definitely been some uh, some good opportunities, you know, through all the the nonsense that's been going on. Oh, I think so, so man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, definitely, I got to start my my entrepreneurial. Hey, hey talk yeah. about it, bro. Yo, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, get it. Okay. Which block of that? <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I actually got my certification uh, for my food handlers. Yeah. You know, cert while I was uh, on lockdown. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, I got time to actually focus on this and stuff now. So little, little blessings in between. Oh, yeah, for and sure. Then, and so yeah. it's like, all right, let me, let, me, let me make the most of this. And I did Back. find a new job. At the hospital, you know, things are still pretty crazy. I can imagine yes. working, listen, yeah, things are seen on a daily basis. Like, we don't get paid enough for this, mm -hmm. nice. pay. but you know, all in all, it's mm -hmm. like, all right, it did. This year has definitely allowed uh, a shift of focus. If you I will. think so for everybody, for sure. For sure. It's, I think it's the main thing is like the alone time, yeah, for me, and a lot Absolutely. of self reflection. Mm -hmm. Um, you know. Even the idea, the concept of working from home, like you're, for a lot of people, you're always surrounded by people every single day. It's kind of 
ne- doesn't necessarily dictate your day, but dictates when you wake up sometimes, yeah. dictates, you know, what you do when you go home or, you know, on your way home or whatever, traffic, all that mm-hmm. stuff eliminated. You no longer have morning traffic as an excuse in your life. You know, that's just like one thing. Not everybody. Well, not, not everybody. everybody. That's I definitely, true. yeah, I that have to go true. into the hospital, so it's like... Traffic is yeah, it's still, it's still now traffic. now yeah, I mean initially before, at the beginning like, initially, yeah, at the quarter one and quarter two it was like dead it was like, like twenty eight days later yeah. yeah it was it, it was terrifying <laughs> it was great because I could drive and not have to deal with <laughs> yeah. other drivers the cops you weren't know, even on the road the cops were you, not on the you road. could just auto bond just <laughs> NASCAR <laughs> yeah, it was wild. speed racing <laughs> definitely wild I feel like twenty yeah. twenty forced you to just stay in the crib and just work on your craft. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and work on stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because when I started twenty twenty, it was like it was kind of shitty, but then like it legitimately made me just stay in the crib and level up. Like yeah. my body got right, mm. my money got right, my relationship, my life got right. Like everything just yeah leveled up. And now, like at the end, looking back, I'm like I'm low key grateful. Yeah, for twenty twenty. Like, I feel yeah. You. yeah, that's kind. Of, okay, I so you. I feel like a a multiple like multiple ways about it like 2020 has been i mean yes a net positive Mm -hmm. some negatives in there like how how we said we started literally started with 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 kobe's death talked about you know death of you know relatives and and, and your love your your family members um talked about you know people's jobs kind of getting pulled away from them people starting new work people uh you know, having to deal with themselves and the dealing with yourself is always the hardest thing. Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, I was just recently talking about mental health on this last uh, this last pod, but uh, not everybody make you know, not everybody's as gracious. But I feel like I am. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, things is positive for me a lot. Yeah. Uh, I always I, feel like it's a mindset, you know. I, I yeah. definitely feel like gratitude is something that you can really tune yourself to, right? Because mm-hmm. when you start to shift your energy towards gratitude, then you start to see all of the things that you can be grateful for, right? Yeah, yeah. Oftentimes, like, we find ourselves in this, like, downward spiral, right? Like, we kind of catch on to the one thing that's bad, and then we just continuously, like, start looking for all of the other ways in which our lives are miserable, or yeah. failing and then we just kind of get stuck in that echo chamber of darkness and depression Sex. and really when you start to turn your energy towards gratitude and you mm-hmm. start to say well what can i be grateful for all of a sudden things it's start lighting up things, yeah. right yeah. it's Definitely. like a perspective change Absolutely. um there was this app that you showed me a long time ago it's like it's called if this then that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and um and it works a lot in terms of let's like, just our psyche it's like if you're looking at the glass half empty if this, yep. then, then that, that. then you'll be like, oh, this is bad, and this is happening, this mm-hmm. trash, and this is that. I started the thing with uh, with Kobe talking about Kobe's death in, in a way of, uh, you know, acknowledging it and remembering mm-hmm. him. But the way I look at Kobe's death, it it is terrible. Mm-hmm. But I'll tell you what it did to a lot of people in general. It inspired people out of nowhere right. i mean we were talking about lebron who yeah. wants to take on kobe's okay. legacy mm-hmm. you know what i mean i want to do the same thing this guy inspired me to do i think about that almost every I, I have a thing that i listen to almost every day when i'm at the gym it's kobe talking about uh not necessarily mama mentality but mm-hmm. how he came uh, about to be kobe Bryant. he starts the story off when he was like a teenager or whatever and he was like man i was trash at ball you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's like, I didn't really have that much athletics. I didn't do this. He was like, but I had to develop that over time. And, and you could be better. I put everything into what I want to do. And you know, you could apply this message to anything. Mine, it just happened to be basketball, right? And I was thinking about Kobe looking at his life and what how other people look at their life because of Kobe's legacy. It's not, it's not the ending isn't, dang. It's like, yo, this Mamba mentality. This idea, this is, I want that. Given how many sermons was probably preached on the mama mentality. (laughs) We know, we know something's up. This guy wasn't just talking, you know what I mean? So, uh, if this and that, like, half full, then all of a sudden you're starting to see, like, come ups everywhere. Absolutely. You know, you're like, oh man, I got all this time at home, but yo, 
I could actually everybody got like hella fit. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. something like that. Well, uh, some. You know, some, like say. Yeah. Or or learn or learn some this is the first year I learned how to cook for the yeah. first time. Nice. Very you know nice. what I mean? Yeah. So But that's exactly the point right there too, right? Yeah, so like yeah. you were looking at it from an optimistic and like a grateful space, right? Like, yeah. oh okay, like in looking at this time that I had to myself, right, I can develop myself, I can learn how to cook, I can get fit and all of this stuff. Mm. And then those who really weren't able to like take the reins of this year, right? And they kind of like happen to let the circumstances dictate their mood and the, their well-being, right? It hit that downward spiral, right? And you do see many people like gaining weight or being stagnant or, or falling victim to their depression and all of that. So, I mean, there's definitely, you know, this dichotomy of like ideals and, and ways of thinking that have kind of really shifted within this year. Um, but more than anything, I absolutely feel like it's been a time where we could really reflect on ourselves, like not just like self growth and like mm-hmm. in the physical sense, but like in a spiritual sense as well. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. really being able to tap into like, like that, almost like the metaphysical, esoteric understanding of like who am I? Like what is my purpose? Like where am I supposed to be in life? And mm-hmm. and am I where I, I said I should have been, right, a couple of years ago, right? Look right. at where I am now and, yeah. and why am I not there yet, you know? I think to me that's like my favorite thing about this year in particular. I see like Time had a magazine out that came out like 2020, the worst. It was like, it was like, <laughs> it, it showed like the Great Depression. It showed like some yeah. other stuff. It showed like Nazis and stuff. And I was like... 2020, I mean, I understand that it's bad, but was it that bad? Right. It wasn't that I mean, bad. I don't want to come off as insensitive either to other yeah. folks because for a lot bad. of folks, it, this, it, was, it was, was that bad. bad. It was Very that bad. bad. It, is, it is that bad. It was that bad. You know, or is that bad? We're fortunate to, you know, have not been affected in such a way, yeah. you mm-hmm. know, where it feels that way. Right, but right. Like, for instance, I'm not a 50-year-old person with kids to look after yep. who Facts. has a potential of losing their house because mm. they no longer have a job. Facts. Yeah. No one is hiring. Me going right. out there is putting my health at risk because right. I'm, you know, mm-hmm. these things I don't necessarily have to consider. So it is mm-hmm. easier for me to, from my perspective, to look at it and, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't have to deal with those type of responsibilities. You yeah, know? absolutely. Whereas a lot of other folks, you know, they've lost people to this. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah. again, they've lost their job, and again, if I've, I've if I've livelihoods been doing mm-hmm. yeah, my livelihood, if I've yeah. been doing this thing for X amount of years, this was my craft, and yeah. now that's been taken Can't away from me. Yeah. You know, it's like it's hard to just scramble and like, all right, well, what am I gonna do now? Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people are losing their homes. You know, what I'm saying things like that. So Relationships, like that. divorces, yeah. 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 people, yeah. people yeah. are having like existential woes. Yeah. But that's but that was that was kind of my point. It's mm-hmm. been this crazy like year. Yeah, big but, catalyst. Like, big catalyst. I, we've never experienced such a monumental change or opportunity of change mm-hmm. on this planet. But with that existential catalyst, like you're thinking, you know, rethinking life, life mm-hmm. you have that opportunity. The door opens wide for these mm-hmm. metaphysical, spiritual things. Oh, God never really was talking to me before, but something about a global pandemic. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, Real something talk. something seems very spiritual about yeah. this massive global plague. You know, <laughs> something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's gonna be something really like energetically um shifting to twenty first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, on this, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna have I'm gonna, gonna be able to teleport, man. Like, yeah. 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 Okay, yo, let's talk, that, let's talk about that. Really. Like like my brother just Pop put me on that oh, yeah. Yeah. yesterday, last yeah. night. Yeah. See I'm we bro, come on. I'm ready. I just gave my bracelet to my um younger cousin. What were we talking about? We were saying like I mean I got my one on me. I see it. We said uh, <laughs> if everybody turned like Superman, like Superman mm-hmm. type. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you choose your powers like a bang, bang oh, baby, big spirit, <laughs> static, static shock. shock. Right. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah. I think it might be something like you that. like music. You turn into a speaker box. Right, <laughs> right. It's like, it's like a quirks from my hero. I can oh yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> that's what I think it might really come about. Like I'm not sure if like oh, no. maybe we missed the wave, right? Maybe it's just the babies that are being born this year. No, the no, next no, ones to come. Don't say that. I mean, see, <laughs> don't say that. That's what I said. Or the babies born on the no, no, no. You know what I mean? Right baby's bored on the 21st no i feel like you really just have to be like grounded and like energetically receptive yeah right? that's what i feel it is. like if you're if you're disconnected it's like being connected to the internet right 
when the download is supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you're not connected to the internet, you don't get the download, you don't get the download right? Mm. Or like right. another great example is just like being like invested in crypto or Bitcoin at the time where it was like that boom, right? Yeah. If you yeah. weren't invested then, then you're not gonna not get gonna the get benefits it. now. So right. it's kind of like we had to be energetically and spiritually invested in ourselves and mm. in our growth mm. prior to December 21st of this mm. year right. for us to really receive those benefits and for us to kind of be able to tap into it. Right. Wow, well, that's uh. That's great news for the people who've been invested. <laughs> I've been yeah. doing this, speaking, bro. Like, speaking yeah. about getting invested, this. speaking about Sorry getting invested, <laughs> y'all <You> out. <laughs> uh, entanglements. Yeah, that, that was, was this year, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I literally just Smith saw a post um, <laughs> where it was like, made a I guess about it, Will bro. Smith made a, um, made a video where he was doing jump rope or something like that, and somebody commented, okay, don't get entangled. Oh, and then he, he commented, he was like, okay, I got to admit, that was very funny. I'm going to block you, but that was very funny. And I, was just like, I hope it was worth it. I feel like I, I, I have so much empathy and just like uh, sending peace to Will Smith for yeah. this year because like the, just the amount of attention that was on that situation and just the way that they were trolling him, I'm just like, that's so unnecessary. Give that man his peace and his space. And like that whole situation was just next level for me. But is there such thing as peace and space in the age of the internet, though? Nah, I don't. Man, I mean, there could be. Mean. He's a meme. Yeah. He is you a meme. Literally, have a picture Forever. of man's like tears <laughs> in his yeah. eyes yeah. being yeah. used <laughs> by random people. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's a gift too. He's a he's gift. gift. He, he's top five memes of this year. This year. He was yeah. combined top with pain memes. from Naruto. Yes. Like pain. I like. want that on a shirt. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, if you see the shirt I got on under this, it's, yeah, it's perfect. I can only imagine. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. Like, I need that. However, I'm sorry, Will. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really a real life, yo. You raised a the generation. Person. You like, definitely did. did. Inspired. Yeah, yeah. It, right? yeah. Still yeah. inspiring. Still yeah. inspiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, shout outs to to Will Smith. And honestly, this year has definitely uh, made me look back at, at a couple of people. Mm. You know, it's like, you know what, let's give people they, they, they flowers. They flowers, right? facts, yeah, I mean, facts, Will Smith bro. is definitely yeah. one of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I don't know if y'all uh, are familiar with my guy uh, Giancarlo Esposito. Mm. I mean, um, the dude from uh, Breaking Bad. Yes. Uh, the dude from mm. Man of Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, dude, yeah. the dude from everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, yo, very, he's fire, bro. Yo, he is by Mandalorian too, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, he was in Breaking Bad, Do the Right Thing, do the right uh, thing. Mandalorian. Yeah, he was in Do the Right he's Thing. He's in everything, yo, bro. Go yeah. Pedro. And every time <laughs> I see him in something, it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, I want to watch this even bro, more. Bro, ten out of ten. Every time he shows up. Hey. Uh, we might have to take a quick break um, just because I want to check sponsors? on the camera. Um, <sighs> but we'd be right back. <laughs> Shout out to Black Skin. But if, I, if there's five hundred dudes not get spotted, yeah, let's, let's kind yeah, of like let's reframe the context. context. So and we're back. Yeah. Let's, let's reframe the context. There's so much so, we could do. Okay, where were we? We were talking about. We were talking about. I feel like I missed something. We were talking about. I feel like I missed something. Okay, so you talking about <laughs> fighting ten dudes or something like that? Right. What you talking about? If it's what? ten, if it's ten, if it's ten, dudes, ten Right, but that's it. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Textually, like, you yo, really got to understand. But I'm going to get you back. I'm a, I'm a, but that's what I'm saying. Why is that vengeance even a part of the picture? You see what I'm saying? No, no, Mike. It's not going to be in the moment. See, all right, boom. That, so but that's you're going to be So the way it is. And then it can come back. Give me a shoes. Give me a shirt. Oh, my shirt. My shoes and my shirt. Bet. Yeah, where you going to be at in 10 days? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy yourself. It's comfy. That's why you hear people that have something to lose that's like, I don't want no drama. Because they understand that, like, yeah. what can happen. Like, yeah. oh, if yeah. I retaliate, I don't want more yeah. no drama. But that's what I'm but saying. But if the drama come to my doorstep now, you have to leave this place. Doorstep is something. doorstep is different than you being out in a public place, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Like, if you just out in a public place, like I think about that scene from like One Piece. Mm. Not everybody watches One Piece, right? But like, yeah. Shanks is like a really renowned pirate or something like that, mm -hmm. and like these. Local thugs, right, come I, into I the shop. Exactly what you know what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Like yeah, come through, like bust them over, yeah, like with a bottle, mm. and he just lays there. He just sits down, cool. and just laughs it off. Just cool, just relax. Knowing damn well he could have. He could have killed everybody. He could have killed everybody there. 
just out of the sake of respect or vengeance. He just smiled and just let it go. Right? He mm-hmm. just smiled and let it go, even what though he was a man of bigger it? stature with more value. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it really does depend on the context of the situation. And that's why I said respect can be a small price to pay for like what you were saying like how much are you willing to to pay like what is your price for certain things and in the context it's, of the conversation we were having right respect i don't even think is a measure like i really do think it's like livelihood the value of the lives there around you right well, like your family your children like all of that i definitely feel like they hold those up against against you yeah before like isn't fuck my respect you know, excuse yeah, my yeah, language you yeah. know what i'm saying it's not but even about your community me. you see what i'm saying yeah yeah but that's what makes you a good leader when you're thinking about everything around you, everything around your orbit. It's because your decisions matter to everyone in your circle mm-hmm. and you become just another focal point within that circle, a big focal point within that circle. But you have more to think about. Like in that same story, Shanks had so much to think about. He's thinking yeah. about his mentees, his little sister, the mm-hmm. people that look up to him. They're like, what is Shanks going to be? Because they're looking up to yeah. him. I'm just... It's cool, bro. Yeah. And he gave them that it's cool. And that yeah. same it's cool attitude is the same thing that's in the side, the same people that look up, up to him now. So exactly, it's, right? it's, it's kind of these small things. I mm-hmm. think it's whatever you can truly sleep with at night. Because mm-hmm. respect on one end, it's attached to ego. I remember the only times I got in, 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 in real big arguments, like in bars mm-hmm. or clubs and stuff, was over some the silliest yeah. of things. It was like, yo, bro, that's my chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> huh? Like, literally. That's my seat. Bro, I ain't moving. Nah, you gotta move, because that's mine. Yeah. Or, what'd you say? Oh, no, I was talking, I was talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, nah, nah, you said something, you real funny, ain't you? Yeah. I mean, maybe, yeah. but look, Sometimes. I was talking, you know, I, well, I wasn't even for you. Who are you? Yeah. But people feel like their respect is something, it's so attached to the ego, and mm-hmm. it gets tarnished so quickly. Yeah. Oh, I almost got into a fight with a friend years ago about the same uh. thing. <laughs> about the same thing. It was, it was, I, uh. I made a joke. I made a joke, and, um, uh, oh, man. I know. Perfect story. So I made a joke, and it was uh, uh, something that had to do with, like, a, a an ex or something like that. In fact, I think he was he was the one wild about it. He was a little he was a little wild. Yeah. But but the the funny thing about that story is I was like, nah, we ain't gonna do that. And he was like, why not? <laughs> or, or something like that. And I'm like, what the? How this energy turn yeah. flip? Because we playing by the way, we playing video games, bro. Nice. We playing video He's games, sore, and he getting and he getting tarnished. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, he start talking wild. I'm just like, what? Yeah. Okay, now okay, now we gotta go outside for real. You know what I mean? That, and this is the only way, right? This is, this the, is, way. is the way. <laughs> but then I realized, like, at that point, the only thing that we're really doing is just battling egos. Exactly. I, I mean, at the end of the day, like for me, it was like, yeah, that's disrespectful. But now, and now I'm just like. Mm. Cares. That's what like you know what I mean. I could sleep with you being like, yeah, man. And then I said, and I said we gonna go outside. And you know what he said? It's cool. He probably went to sleep. Yeah, I said yeah, good. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's fantastic. That's what I'm saying like people make you seem weak for apologizing or saying no, nah, you got it, or just you know being like, like quote yeah, unquote, too, like life's too short for that. Life is right. too short. But when you're not insecure, or when you're not insecure me, about I know, it, I know what I'm capable straight. of. And if I there you go, go. Yeah, bro, bro. Come on, yeah. talk I'm, about I'm, it, dog. That's, that's so I'm not going to like what I was getting I'm, at early is mm-hmm. like you know <laughs> make, speaking personally. Yeah. For me to get to the point of fighting, mm-hmm. it's like. I don't feel bad for you at that point. Because I it tried doesn't, every it's a, show. Yeah, every every my avenue is like, not to be joking. If we've gotten to this like, point, that means done. we've checked off this. Every we checked off this. For me to want to put hands on you, y'all know me. That's how I you feel. I mean, like, yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah, like, I'm chill. Like, mm-hmm. so to get to that point, it's like, all right, this is, this is the only thing There's that's only left. only option left. You see what I'm saying? Like, you left Yo. me with no other option. Or, I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> like, every yeah. fight I've ever gotten into, one, I'm proud to say I've never started. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to finish it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, if it gets yeah. to that point. But that's just how I was raised. Like, yeah, I'm not going to sit sure. here and start nothing with you. I'm going to try and be diplomatic, whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Mm-hmm. And again, depending on the situation, 
you know, we may skip a few steps beforehand. To throw <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's situational. Like, say for instance, like, all right, uh, a loved one gets assaulted. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm that's not that's asking no questions. Nah, that's We're not that's trying to dissolve nothing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm on you. Mm-hmm. You, you have to be saying? physically incapacitated because you are threatening one of my loved ones. You see what I'm saying? Like, situations like that. It's like, all right. Yeah, so even right, like, right. Even you see what I'm saying? It's the, like, yeah, it's not even like... Going back to the, the, the whole getting jumped thing, it's like, all right. Thou knowest. Yeah, too. like, <laughs> <laughs> I've been in situations where it's like, I'm not even fighting for me. You exactly. know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we about to get jumped, and I know I can take it, but right. this person, Can't you know what I'm saying? That's so it's rough. like, all right, let me, exactly. that this way it's at right now. Yep. I mean, pop this off in, on my terms. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Stuff, stuff like that. But it's like, yeah, he never... No, on no petty stuff like ah, right, you and your feelings. I right, you was having a roasting session, and now you right. you yeah, want to take yeah, it out. Yeah. Nah, bro, you got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's been many people getting happening. shot at gas yeah. stations yeah. for that. You see what I'm saying? For that, especially nowadays, yeah. niggas can't, can't fight. fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't. And fight. egos are easily bruised, right? Mm-hmm. Now yeah, I was just true. talking to um. And in the age of the so internet, soft. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Well, internet, in the, the age of the internet, I book it's called even the worse. I'm American mind. Now you I'm gotta relive you. that every oh, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, true. You know what I mean? In the age of the internet, a lot of times things don't go just under the rug. I had to have because we had a little squad or whatever. Chamber. Nah, this was recorded now. And it's I can see, you wrote it on the internet. Yeah, you everybody yeah. getting in there. Yeah, yeah, they retweeting it. They like, oh, oh damn, you got laid out. Yeah. Yeah. You go, you go, be on the Robinson. shade room tomorrow. He my did it dude, to himself. He did to a degree. He did it to his. But do my man deserve to have to live this for the rest? Yes, he does. I mean, like. It's Yo, good as a, you should have just stayed to hooping, man. You brought planking back. Like, dunking on people. That was your <laughs> gift. God gave you that gift. Wasn't Jake wasn't Paul, Jake, wasn't he always yeah, doing that? Like, it, he, was, he was fit. He was doing no, that boxes. fighting like, for a long time. He boxes, like, he, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's what he was doing. So I'm trying to figure that's out why Nate messed up. Because that's why I'm like, why did I he... I know you're an athlete, but it's not the it's same. Not the same. It's, it's not the different same. if it's like a street brawl. Like, I right, maybe, yeah. you know what I mean? But in a confined ring with particular rules. rules, rules yeah, my man, like, like, where was the defense, though? Like, Nate ain't never played no defense. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. This is exactly it's what happened. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. We back <laughs> in his ego. We back in No, it's solid. Yeah. It's solid. It's solid. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, yeah. I rocks with you, Nate. I do. Yeah. That hurt my heart. Go back yeah. to dunking on people. Nah, he got nah, dunked on. Nah, stop that too. Just nah, nah bro. Yeah, bow out yeah. gracefully, man. I say, I say respectfully. Yeah, bow out gracefully. I mean, yeah. respectfully. Mm-hmm. Like, just, you know, when your time is up, your time is up. And that's okay. When God calls you. You already. So, and that, so, that kind of brings up another important point, too, right? Like, bowing out gracefully, right? Recognizing that. There's no real point in like forcing people into um, the emotional energy level of shame, right? Because I think like Fact. shame is yeah. akin to ego death and yeah. real death, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. most of the times when people end up committing suicide or they oh, end well, up man. being yeah. in a position where they're mm-hmm. apathetic about life, yeah, they're yeah. past that level of energetic shame yeah. where they're already mm. dead inside, right? Yeah. And then life is, hey, all right, well, I guess my car is going to veer off this way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Little mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like when people get into that energy level of con- like that consciousness energy level of shame is like mm-hmm. that's where it's akin to death. Yeah. And what we were talking Your about vibrancy before, goes that vibrancy is done. 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 Yeah. And done. that cancel culture immediately pushes people into shame, shame. Yeah. which is that's like it. you might as well be killing them, right? Yeah. Not only taking right. their livelihood because you canceling them takes away any opportunity for them that's to earn, right, yeah. right? Or to thrive yeah. in life. You've pushed them into the energy America. level of shame, and now they they might as well be dead. Right. That's you all know, cool. leaving America still, it, it's it, everything about your Go to India about yeah. the essence of who you are as a person gets <laughs> stripped away. Yeah. it's yeah. the reason Dave Chappelle went right back to comedy. Bro, they like did. almost yeah. immediately. My man's mm-hmm. love. He was like, I remember. He did it but, like but, he went to Africa. Yo, that's the thing. Go to he, Africa, he, go to he, India. He had get, to go to Africa to get some get back yeah, mics. Get, 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 get back mics. Where people, See, before where the, people the didn't know him. Though, like, and that's right, he kind of was he preemptive about himself. himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. was thinking nothing about this. Like, yo, my pops is dying. Like, I mean, yeah, I need yeah. to get away from this this place. Yeah, I mean, then come back, and that's when it was a cancel. Like, hold up. Yeah, yeah, wait a minute. I got Hold on, what? I'm on. I'm on what now? I left America for drugs. Right. <laughs> what? No. What? But, but that's like like quick as hell to put black for, people on drugs. Well, it's not no. drugs. Mm-hmm. Well, people do anything to fit a narrative that makes sense to their minds. You know what I mean? So they'll say anything about anybody. But it's always anytime. drugs for us. Why can't it be, yo, he went out there to go play baseball. 
It's an easy scapegoat. Like baseball. They don't even want to have Because drugs make sense. They didn't Think want about opening drugs. your base. Drugs. 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 and drugs. Drugs. The one. It's because of money. Money the is reason, money. No, not money for Dave Chappelle. Money for people making the story. Yeah. No mm-hmm. one cares about the story unless it's a headline. Unless it's a no headline. No one cares about Dave Chappelle went to, went to Africa for mental clarity. Oh, good, no one's picking him, up right? that story, dog. Him. Dave Chappelle <laughs> went to Africa for drugs. I'm, I'm going like, what they talking about? Even, yeah. if, I'm, yeah, even yeah, yeah. if I don't believe it, mm-hmm. that's why they do it. And once people look at that headline one, two, three, four, five, six times, now it's real. Mm-hmm. No one cares about the truth because exactly. the truth not sellable. American Facts. Man, like, Facts. No, you just made a really good point, too. Is like those who beat the narrative to the mm. scene, right? Like shape the truth, right? Yeah, like right. even mm-hmm. if it's before the truth, even if they don't have conclusive evidence of a thing, if they put the headline out, as soon as they see it four, Jesus five, six Christ. times, yeah. it is now the truth. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to even go back and like, Fix, it. fix that, you yeah, know. Right. So it, it really, it really speaks to. And again, I don't want to keep, you know, the topic on Dave Chappelle, but shout out to Dave giving them roses. Yo, too. Yeah, yeah, you know man. Talk but it's about like, like it, it goes back to what we was talking about before about integrity. You know what I'm saying? Because not too many people could have survived that. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people would have been able to withstand that that assault, you yep. know, from media. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or even be in a place where people believe them as opposed to the story. It's like, nah, man, I, I know how homie get down. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That makes me wonder a lot of times, even at uh, that song uh, Kendrick put out, the mm-hmm. shit hit the fan. Is you still a fan? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if the media decides to come out and say, oh, well, Travis did this thing. It's like, do, do the people who really know me, are they going to, like, right. who, who side yeah. is that going to be on? Y'all yeah, going to believe yeah, the yeah. story that I come out, or you going to believe me based off of, you know what I mean? Just my character and the way that you see me operate. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 it's hard. I, yeah. I feel like to a degree because it's like you have this story being manufactured mm-hmm. from all around. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? It's like what do you what do you believe now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that you can truly be canceled and you can be canceled at the same time. It's a paradox because mm-hmm. I I feel like there's no such thing as canceling in your in if you don't if accept, you don't accept it. it. True. Um, like my my favorite R. Kelly. I was just about Prime to say, example. Was about Prime to say, example. It's a, it's a, it's they a still trying to cancel this man. Split. This man been canceled since like, 2006. He when he first came in the name of love. I can't. Yeah. Right? Like, Bro, he's the Pied Pied Piper Pied of West. R&B. Pied West. Even, that, even that name is sick. Yeah, right, it, that's disgusting. Pie, bro. Story, yeah, that, yeah, I, I, R. Kelly's you know, not the example I'm looking for. But I'm saying, saying though, I'm saying, saying, saying. This is, this is, R. Kelly, Kelly ain't been trying to move. cancel him. R. Kelly since ain't the one, bro. Since 2004, bro. Successfully. Since 2004, they've been trying to cancel this man for 16 years. Yep. And he's not he's not canceled yet. Well, he's in, he's in I jail. think he's closer to being canceled now than he ever has. Yeah, I think that's 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 when I think about canceling, I think about like guys like. Um, well, there's, it, the thing is, it's an innumerable amount of people, you know, yeah. if Harvey we think, Weinstein. well, no, no, not yeah. Harvey Weinstein. I'm, I'm talking about like guys like Dave Chappelle. Oh, um, Bill I'm Cosby. talking about, no, I'm, no, I'm not talking he about He said Bill no, Bill. not even <laughs> that. He's, <laughs> I'm, That's I'm, justified. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about guys like Kanye. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking, talking about, God, well, yeah, they'll, 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 and then he'll continue to get canceled he's yeah. not canceled he's trying to, his own try but 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 bro, that's what i'm saying genius right if he if, really is like, you can literally a genius. the thing is you can you can still carve out whatever lane that you want to carve out within canceling whatever if you want to do whatever you want to do you know i don't necessarily think that canceling is ever the last step mike tyson yeah. they try to cancel him too he came back with the fierceness he, he he's just fought a couple weeks ago i mean but if you just see him in interviews or podcasts or whatever, mm-hmm. he's radiating at a vibrancy like yes, through behind. the roof. You know what I mean? Because at and the end of the day, what the reason the reason people cancel people is they say all these things that creates that shame and mm-hmm. circles around and pulls the vibrancy out of someone because they want to yep. defeat somebody yep. in their minds. They want to take their money. They want to take their livelihood. They want to take. They want to give you the take existential threat, and leave right, and show. leave you as a husk. Yep. Yep. And there's some people who refuse to be a husk. Absolutely. So that's when you get your Dave Chappelle. Okay, fine. oh, you, I, I can't get a show. Cool. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do yeah, comedy in in, in Canada. Ohio. Yeah, yeah he, was in Canada, he was making. He was, he was making. He was doing small comedy shows. Back to doing like 
20 people. Yeah. Back to doing 30 people for years. Years. The only time you see, like, you, the last thing he had was something from the last, the last factory in, like, 2004. Outside of that, for these amount of years where you've never seen him, he never stopped. <laughs> still building, still growing, still gaining that Netflix vibrancy. Picked him up. And next thing you know, all of a sudden it's like, yo, Dave is the GOAT now. He's been the, He's goat. Been the yeah. GOAT from, from day the one. Shop, from before because, the because the thing that people attempted to take away, they could never take away. Yeah, because it's him. That's mm-hmm. it. That's, that's it. Him. That's that integrity. That's that. That's mm-hmm. that. It's the same thing with Mike Tyson. Oh man, you're on drugs. You're on, you're what really, are your you values? never. What are your morals? What are you, like? Exactly. Who are you at the core of all of this? Outside of the the image, yeah, right. The cases or with the image that people try to paint for you, yeah, they mm-hmm. don't tell you who you are. No, who are you really? You know what I'm saying? That's gonna shine through. And Sell you their soul for yeah. for yeah. power and riches, shit, man. It's gonna shine through. If yep. you're a good person, it's gonna shine through one way or another. Absolutely. You know I mean? And I feel like that's. A lot of what's happening, you know, in these past couple of years, but this year particularly as well, it's like, you know, we're seeing people for who they truly are. Uh, I know, think so. I have a question. Famous what's up? Is murder like one of those things? Yes. Who you it murder? depends. Huh? It depends who you again. And why? Yeah. Well, well so like if it was it. like a altercation and yeah, then somebody died, you some and somebody and died. Somebody. What is the altercation about? So I'm saying there's levels to it. It's not just you know black and white. I'm not. I'm the only not. Thing I just think black about and Jesus. White is straight up black and white for me. Yeah. You can't. You can't, you can't touch your kids. children. You can't don't yeah, touch yeah, the, that's, the, that's the, the straight up black. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's done. Like you, you messing around with kids. That's done. You know, yeah. There's not a lot of gray area around. There's no gray area. Well, I mean, the awkwardness is that there was gray area in previous centuries, and like. People are building no, gray area yeah. again. They're, they're People wrong. are literally they were wrong. Trying, no, 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 for sure. That's they're what I'm trying saying, to build that gray like, area they're now. Trying they're trying to build gray area. Yeah, they yeah, are. They're, they're trying, trying to. Are. They're trying to. Who is like, oh, nobody likes a woe is me type of a person. Nobody. nobody likes a woe is me type of person, right? But unfortunately, the Black Lives Matter movement, right, has created a whole paradigm of white people perceiving black people as the woe is me of. All of all the people on the planet, right? <laughs> I don't even think black you know, black lives matter ain't even do that. Anytime we talk about what the fuck any any us, any time, but I would say it, it it has aggrandized it, right? It made it even worse, right? Yeah, um, they always, d- it they always like, diminish what the fuck right? they, they do. Always diminish, yeah. always, bro. Like y'all can kill me, and be like, well, I mean, exactly. he has skittles in his pocket. Yeah. He deserves to get it. shot. You see what I'm saying? He get over it. It happened two years ago. Oh, it happened a couple months ago. Yeah. Yep. Nigga, so, life was still fucking lost, bro. Shut yep. Yo. Yep. Yo. So then like, they, they enforce yo. this, like, woe is me yeah. perspective on us, yeah. right? And yeah. then, like, it's like this twofold aspect, right? Where it's like they perceive us as this woe is me, and then they also see us as a threat, right? So, like, you're saying, like, oh, they feel like, oh, now Black Lives Matter means that we want to kill everybody else, mm-hmm. right? So it's like this doubled down perspective where it's just like, damn, like, if we give y'all what y'all want, y'all are just going to be like the damsel in distress. Right, like this woe is me type of individual. But then if we just like try to fight and make sense of our own selves, or at least stand up in our own right, you're gonna want to kill us, right? Hmm. So that's like how I'm thinking they're perceiving us in in that way. And it's just like, damn, like this sucks because all it is like this entire thing has always just been like um, a terrible like miscommunication of our human existence over time, right? Like over centuries and centuries and centuries, right? Mm-hmm. Is what I'm saying. It's like this the lineage of war between different mm-hmm. cultures and all of this mm-hmm. stuff, nationalism, so classism, blacks and, whites. blacks and whites, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm saying like all of it kind of plays into it, right? Like the fact that we can be contentious with our neighbor, right? Is the biggest reason as to why, of course, like, there's this big discrepancy between black and white. We're so different, right? <laughs> like, we're so different. Culturally. Culturally, likewise. like, ethically, like, morally. Like, like there's so many ways that we're different. And that's a big reason for us to, that, that contentious energy exists amongst one another, right? Mm-hmm. But it's because we have that perspective and because we, we are unable to remove those biases, right? right that we always fall victim mm-hmm. to that continuation it's, it's, of that contentious it's energy. literally it's 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 like a psychological principle yeah. i don't i don't i don't know if this is bro science or whatever but um mirror neurons I, I, yes I actually, yeah, actually, yeah yeah actually i i think it's not bro science i think it, just, it comes from wrong. this book the brain that changes it, it mm-hmm. itself yeah um and it's mostly about what it's pretty much what you look at what you what whatever you digest mind wise is pretty much 
what your brain atmosphere is, yeah, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So and 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 you give that same energy off. It's the same it, the same reason why you get hard over watching pornos. It's like you fucking same shit. Mirror normal. <laughs> Legit. Yes. Legit, yes. bro. So right. you see, so you see two people, two people getting on, and you're right. like, oh. This is my, I think this is an opportunity for me. Best yeah, your, your brain believes it's that right. same opportunity, not right. the same. Mirror right. neurons, mm-hmm. right? The same way we see a lot of things happening in, in, in the media, things are seen Facts. very antagonizing to Facts. us, and then we look at everyone else. Literally, everyone who may not necessarily be antagonizing becomes antagonizing to us. All of a sudden, our emotions flare up. Yep. We are no longer rational, which is, yep. I believe, what the game plan is out here. Yeah, for I us believe to lose that. that rationality because when we're no longer mm-hmm. rational, we cannot easy. work. And we're we're easy outside. We're exactly. outside our bag. Exactly. Oh, our well right now is stopped because I'm in defense mode yep. and I'm about to fight. Yep. I could have been pouring in here, but I'm about to fight. Yep. Yo, what's up? You know what yep. I mean? Now, the more rational you get, you put all this stuff aside. Yep. I think that's like where the winners are. Well, that's where the winners are constantly playing. Yeah, because when it comes, it, it, even like between whether you're black or you're white, if they can make people not want to play the game, the people at top, they continue to play. They continue yeah. to play. And all, the, all people want, the same thing with the whole Robin Hood thing. I'm like, why is Newsweek covering this? Because mm. they don't want people to play. Mm-hmm. It's powers that be just do, 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 yeah. do, and they're like, hey, we can make the least amount of players as possible we better win. for me. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we live off of y'all. So every so whenever I think about um well I try not to think about people out here or anything being too in control of an outcome in my life. Yeah. Because that just automatically puts me in a box Facts. and I'm unable to do pretty much anything. And when I look at like our community mm-hmm. in general. I don't like hearing don't. I can't. Sam, I won't. I, hate Sam. I can't. I hate that. If, if, if I hear that, I just, I go like, yeah, I can't really rock with this person yeah. at all. Because now that same energy, mirror neurons, yep. Yep. it gets downloaded in, inside of myself. So and even even when I watch stuff like online, like mm-hmm. like social media, or whatever. Oh, I don't even. Yo, I stuff. got time for the shape. I got time for none of it. Got time because all that stuff. The more people keep talking like that, is the more mm-hmm. you just get downloaded, exactly. and all of a sudden your vibrancy level goes down. Yep. Your defenses go up. Yep. You're not yep. usable in a way where you can actually become that whatever powerful thing is. I but agree. that's why groups like these mm-hmm. hold so much weight and so much power because it's not just me thinking by myself i can really truly only see like one like one perspective you know yeah yeah but see like this that's what i'm talking about too because like even me right like i do feel like i love having these conversations with y'all you know what i'm saying y'all know y'all my brothers but it's like there's a certain point where even in this conversation right like i'm in my mind i'm like okay how do we get to the solution oriented stuff how do we actually start talking about the things that's like like the four like because what we're doing right now is like, I used this analogy before, it's like we're, we're dousing like the, the secondary flame or like we're, we're trying to like put a band-aid on the symptom, but we're not really trying to treat the, the cause, you know what I'm saying? And right, it's like, right. like, how do we actually get to those solution-oriented things where we're actually eliminating the root of the issue I know and like focusing, what's up? Get rich. Yeah, right. I swear to God, get Get rich. No, the only, the only thing, big fact. The only (laughs) thing, like you said, the powers that be, they don't want to see us come up. Yeah, yeah. If more black people would just focus on getting rich, yeah. Mm Building wealth. And building wealth. When I talk about mm. filling my wealth, Generational dog, wealth. I feel it spiritually, Yo, but I'm talking feel, about in my like pockets too, bro. Asians yeah. do it? Mostly in my pockets. Facts. And it, get, come on, bro. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> bro, yeah. you already know. But, but so look, but, here's but, the thing. Here's the, the way reason. to get there, though. Mm. Providing value. Facts. Providing, Providing value. value. Knowing yeah. what your purpose is in this life, right? Mm-hmm. Being true to that, right? And then actually providing that as value to others, mm. and then That's not condemning did. the world, yeah. right, for the ways in which you're falling short, right? Because yeah. what I do see happening oftentimes is like we get um, black people that are like pursuing their passion or whatever, and it's like I'll, I'll take myself as an example, right? Yeah. I I can't blame anybody else for the lack of success that I'm seeing in my music or any other pursuits, right? Yeah. Like if I don't have a hundred thousand streams or a million streams, it's because I have not provided enough value yet. 
It's not because facts, it's not man. because oh people, people are hating. Yeah. It's not because that it's they don't you, fuck with it me. Falls back it's on, on you. me. Like right. I still have new ways to discover to provide value to people so that they can actually see it and receive it. Right. Yeah. Other than that, that responsibility is on me. Yeah. And that's the that's the accountability that I'm talking about that, yeah, that's man. coming from that black people. Shit, bro. Yeah. Black people are like, no, nah, like y'all don't patronize us and y'all don't do this, but they're nah, like their business, valid. like their customer Yo. service sucks. Whoa. Like they you know, it's Whoa. all other types of stuff. So you it, bro. Fifty dollars for some plain t shirt. You see what I'm saying? But it's with a face on it. Right. <laughs> Not even. It's just but a like, plain t-shirt. But that's what I'm saying. Like oh, got come on now. If you're gonna make me pay fifty dollars for a t shirt, at least put some quality in it, at least put some time and effort and love into it. Right, at least make that it something that's three pack beneficial. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so Yo, it's about man, really it's being facts. able to create Gotta value, add value, like right. add value to you. people's yeah. lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, instead that's of just it. being in this Bro. mindset of like, nah, I'm trying to come up off you. No, right. right? You have to provide value. But that's what it, uh, a lot of it feels like. You know, people are trying to come up often, mm-hmm. and it feels like that when people you, because. You know, we're entrepreneurs here, like of all sorts, you know what I mean? But it feels that way when people are trying to, you know, sell or patronize or something. And it's really hard to see if someone is on the, is on the path of providing the most kind of value. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I, I know I, I know what you mean. Like, so in that example, right? Like, mm. I understand why a black business might have to charge 50 or $60 for a t-shirt, right? Just right. because they don't have the factory, right? Like, if you take Kanye as the example, That's right? Cool. Like, I'm trying to build the factory so I can make these clothes cheaper so mm. that I can sell them to you at a cheaper price, right? Mm. And you're mm. getting mad at me because I'm selling these shoes for $200 a pop to white people that mm. can afford that shit, mm. and you're buying it and getting mad at me because you're spending your money at a high ticket rate that, I, I mean, I was gonna get to you, you know what I'm saying? Right, like you right. were getting mad at me for my price point, so I'm trying to sell it to the people that can afford it so right. that I can get the infrastructure to and build, the system to build the stuff yeah. to provide for you at right. the level you're at. Yeah, you yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? That's wild, and people bro. get mad yeah. at you for doing that. Yeah, and it's but like- see, But that's cool, that's kind And that, come, that comes that's from a lack of understanding do. too. Like it, that, exactly, that people, people not, not even knowing. Lack of understanding, but you know, a lack of being able to communicate that as well. Yes. Because yeah. too often, that's like, that's we just expect too. people to get it. Yeah. Like, right. look, man, I'm doing it, but we don't. You're not a good communicator. Yep. You haven't expressed this. Facts. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? In, in a way that it's like, all right, well, all right, I get that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm. And another thing that we do have at our disposal that's a, a little better, too, right? I fully under, understand and agree with that sentiment. Mm-hmm. We have to get better at being able to explain the details of the process and everything that goes into it. Right. Because if we could effectively communicate that, I think we could really truly thrive and succeed with crowdfunding, right? Mm-hmm. Like Kickstarter campaigns and all of this oh stuff. Like God. I see some phenomenal products coming to surface, 273, like 2,700 mm-hmm. percent like funded, right? Like they had a goal that if they reached 100 percent, they could do the thing yeah. and it was 27 times more funded than mm-hmm. it needed to be because they were able to effectively communicate the value mm-hmm. that they wanted to provide, yeah. right? And then they showed the process. Right, so if right. we had that same... But we do uh, have that. Well, yes, we do have that. We have to consistently continue representing that and also sharing that knowledge with others who are starting to come up in that same regard. So like I said, Jay Morrison, right? He actually created the first black-owned crowdfund for um, nice. real estate developers nice. in Atlanta. Nice. And the same black people, yo, that's a scam. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. He only took, he didn't pay no dividend. He's like, bro, here's all my books. I'm regulated mm-hmm. by the SEC. Yep. This is what the fuck I did for y'all. Yeah. And y'all shitted on me. So mm-hmm. of course I went to my blanquitos, to my white yeah. people. Because my white people know what's up. <laughs> yeah. They know that I'm going to get them their money back and yeah. it's going to be a great return. Yep. I went to y'all first, y'all shit it on me. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that's right. what I'm saying. As black yeah, people, right. we really, so it's the really got to stop shitting on people trying to yeah, make it. It's multiple I mean, factors with like, all I was about to say, it's most education. Most, that's the thing. Like, it's the knowledge. education. Yeah, 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 yeah. Education, they're not You're talking about Jay Morrison and Ariat, right? Yes. Ariat. I, but it's dog. not a read though. It's not. It wasn't a read. He had his own yeah. mm-hmm. SEC funded real estate crowd fund. Okay. It's SEC. It's SEC backed, not SEC funded option. Mm-hmm. SEC backed. He has to go through so the Security it's, it's, it's Exchange not, Commission. It's not a read. No, SEC it's not a read. It's a security, right? It's not a security. Okay. It's a um. Hold up. Give me a second. 
Now, that security is not a... That's like Google, bro. But, but, but this is a perfect example. I'm yeah. trying to say, it's like this. And you're like, no, it's not quite like that. It's not that. But And, and, and I have somewhat a, knowledge of how on, these things on. work, right? Hold so, on. I know what it is. I just, just went blank when you asked me. Um, that's why I said I'm looking up. Okay, so the, the point was when the messaging is not simple enough, so it's very really hard for people to buy facts, in. Right. You facts. know what I mean? It's just, I can't consume this or yep. I can't digest this so in such a way that yep. makes sense to me. Yep. The so things, this trust, you know, yep. this trust. Me. Maintain the you know, A+. Most of the things that's going on, the things that we need, like, on yep. a cultural level, mm-hmm. are mostly systemic, like mm-hmm. systems. Which are not really easily explained stuff exactly. for other communities and other cultures. They have multiple systems layered and layered on top. Yeah. Like the way, like the Jewish system, where we bring them, like the Jewish people, up all the time. They have so many systems on lock right. from day one exactly. that people already know. Even it's a syndication. The whole, the whole Bible is comp. It's a syndication. It's so complex. God, damn, it's the Book of Leviticus so is just a a book of systems, right? Ooh, right. And yeah. a bunch of rules. We know how we do, and they still and read from that stuff from the Torah, what I right? Before they can all agree, they have if a they, system. If they have a to system, go back to a foundation. We don't have that. But but teaching we systems. Did. But Marcus teaching Garvey systems, founded one. But teaching mm-hmm. systems. Did he not? But teaching things. systems is more of an education thing and a communication thing. True, true. That means that means on a on a big level mm-hmm. in general, like stepwise education mm-hmm. is huge, and mm-hmm. and, I agree. and or just really basic stuff. I agree. In terms of like education on a few things, things like personal finance. Mm-hmm. Can if, you imagine if we had our own education system? Come on, now. they won't give Tell us our own it. education. I mean, system. no. We so what's happening is own. that because these they are starting to be formed. They but they won't, credit, think, they won't make our I'm just saying, like, credit. And I'm just, I'm just saying, accredited. like, can yeah, you imagine exactly. if, okay, and again, this is a very, uh, it has have, been yeah, a very controversial conversation. Too. It's very controversial. That I've had. But again, one of the things that I agree with Malcolm X on wholeheartedly mm-hmm. is Being that integration was one of the worst things to happen bad, to us. Bad, bad, bad. I feel you. You know, mm-hmm. uh, again, we wanting, wanting to have a seat, seat at, at that table. table for what? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, we're in the part of that, we're in that education system. And it's like, shitty. You got people right. who fucking hate you teaching your kids. Mm-hmm. What sense that make? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, to take yeah. an even more extreme example, mm-hmm. would you, as a Jewish person, take your kids to a Nazi school by, by right. choice? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, I no. Like, that. when you're looking at, again, the history of not mm-hmm. only just this country, but the world in a lot of places, it's yeah. like, why would I subscribe to that? Why would I want that for me and myself? Here. So, again, going back to the whole structure of yeah. things, we have to get to a point of, all right, it may be hard. It's going to be hard for a while. It's going to be difficult because it's not what we used to when we were creating mm-hmm. something new. But this is how we're going to go about doing things. We're going to educate ourselves on these things. Mm-hmm. All right, Even the stuff that we've been saying for years, they don't teach taxes and shit like that in school. They don't know. So why are we still relying on this? When we know, when we know right. that exactly. this is a skill that you need for the exactly. world, mm-hmm. all right, to, 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 mm-hmm. to survive in the world and be successful in the world, you need to know these basic things. You mm-hmm. need to learn how to cook for yourself. Mm-hmm. You need to learn taxes. how to do fucking mm-hmm. gardening and how to create, how to build a mm-hmm. fucking farm. Yep. Even if it's just to sustain you and your family, mm-hmm. you need to learn how to protect yourself. You know what I mean? From physical mm-hmm. to as well as using weapons, weapons yeah. standard third. Everything. You need to have knowledge of these All things. Of you need to learn how to be financially literate. You need to learn how to you take care of your be, taxes. Uh, you need how to... Computationally you know I mean? literate. You mean? Understanding uh, computers. And, right. Uh, computer science. Multiple languages. Fluent. Multiple yeah. languages. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that you can do business with other groups of people. That you can do business well, overseas. Spanish, and Spanish, bro. Look, yeah. look. Yeah, I mean, All like, these things are available and they're free. Thank you. That was going to be my point. Currently... All of it YouTube, is free in a internet, YouTube the university, internet, dog. Yeah. Like, it is literally... The only reason why I see this not happening, like, is the accountability of the parents. What what really it is, it's I just think... It's not interesting parents, to people, bro. Parents may or may I mean, not be at a level of... I don't want to say of, that. That's, that's, that's not, it's not that's that not it's not, not interesting. It's, it's like, the availability, mm-hmm. right? Think about the time no, availability of the yeah, parent because they have to oversee their child's learning right. if they are going to take that independent route. I got to make sure that your fucking rent is paid on time. Like So they're probably... I don't have the time or the money to so that's, that's kind of that's so they're kind just of what depending I mean, on the system to raise the children mm-hmm. through the public school system. Right. I would it's love not even to that, be able to do this. So, I, I so, can't so that's to so that's that. exactly what I mean. Like uh, like I, like um, like my brother just gave a statistic about how much people spend when they're dating. Right. Yeah, one hundred eighty-one thousand. Tons of money, right? You got people right now. Currently, women are 
everywhere talk about too many broke men. Yeah. Too much broke. Right. Not however, anyone. however, yeah, guess what? However, I'm not just not not going yeah, into relationships because yeah. that's not the point. The point is, look, guys are still finding time to they, date. They, yeah. And they still finding women look, to impregnate. Look, <laughs> and women to look, it's, everything on YouTube still there. Yeah, still there. All, all, all the free Harvard classes. Harvard literally are, are, has are, are a there. free. You did. You did not forget how to pirate. You're class. still pirating yep. stuff mm-hmm. online. Mm-hmm. You figured out a VPN, but you can't figure out. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the stuff is, is still is there. there yeah. You you're doing everything else. Get the, if the if something interested you interested you. Yep. You would figure that out too. See, but again, there's some things the when it comes to like boom, do do. What's on top? <laughs> this shit that's on top. Go, are yeah, things let me put y'all let me put this that in, don't um, benefit you. let me put this in context for y'all too and the reason why it's like again i bring up the um idea of the man planting the seed whose shade he'll never sit under right consciously on the the planetary energy level of consciousness right mm-hmm. just past that threshold of it not being discoherent and destructive mm. like on a planetary scale we're good so now. No, no tomorrow, it's not even like we're by good tomorrow, now. tomorrow, this conversation is going to be dead because it's going to be... No, 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 no. It's not no, good so here's, here's more context for that, right? Mm. The, that energy level of consciousness, um, all of that is... Um, think of that exponentially, right? It's mm. like a logarithmic scale as it goes up. So there are millions of people in that destructive energy level mm. and those who are in like the en- conscious energy levels of love and peace and joy and enlightenment... Few and far between, like your Gandhi's or your, and he also had his discrepancies. You know what I'm saying? But but what I'm saying is like (laughs) you had you had certain people that were at certain energy levels of consciousness, even beyond reason, right? That's in a very um a Buddha, Buddha, right? You can count, right? Like uh Einstein, me, 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 right? Me, right? I'm I'm on some next level. Few and far between. Those type of people are like one in a hundred thousand type of individuals. You see Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But on a logarithmic scale, their value is kind of like when they say like, oh, he has the strength of a hundred men, right? Mm Kind of like that, right? Where it's like, it's, it counterbalances the weight of those who are on the destructive energy levels. But you still got to understand you got to contend with all of those people that are in those destructive energy levels of consciousness. And many of them have not reached that state of willingness. Mm. They have to have that self-acceptance, the the reasoning and the understanding to say, okay, I have to be willing to help myself and I have to be willing to take accountability Mm -hmm. for all of the emotional traumas and all of the anger, Mm -hmm. the pride, Mm -hmm. the grief, the resentment, all of that before I can even get to anything that we're talking about here Mm -hmm. today. You see what I'm saying? So many, 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 many parents and their children are stuck in those lower destructive energy levels of consciousness because they're still trying to survive. That's a mm-hmm. root chakra, sacral, that That's red the, zone. Mm-hmm. First you know one. What I'm saying? Yeah. That's the first one. They're still in that energy level. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So they have to get out of that level before they can even start to process that understanding. Of, indigo. You see what I'm saying? All right. No, at least get to the, like, if they can get to that sense of, of self and the heart like the green the green right i mean the green is that that's super goldilocks zone that's like yeah, that's, I love if that. everybody can be there this that's would be dope. a completely different planet like <laughs> yeah. vastly different like people think that they're at the heart level right but they're really not like they're still in the sacral and lower le- yeah. energy levels I'm, of consciousness I'm with a, lot you of too. That, a lot of that has to do again mm-hmm. with the systems that we're living in oh for it's sure like, yeah. it perpetuates the people yeah. want to be there and I feel like Maybe. people, when you know, <laughs> yeah. to, to a degree, when left to their own devices, uh, the matrix, you know, red pill, blue pill. We all want to get there. Yeah, we want to mm-hmm. get there. That's However, what we to if yeah. we're forced to operate in a At system a lower vibration. that sells friggin' cancer burgers mm-hmm. for a dollar versus right. some fresh but, fruit so, so here's, for mm-hmm. ten, I see you know what you're what I'm saying. saying? Like, I, I see what you're the saying. The system, to a degree, it dictates mm-hmm. my reality. To it, a degree, it, to a degree, it influences your still, reality. It influences your reality. Yeah, we're gonna we have, have to, to have operate the, within the system. We, you have to, to be able to discern mm-hmm. what is beneficial for you, right? Because what I recognize, but then this is the same pockets. thing mm-hmm. as the within the physical re- existence and within our minds, right? Like, mm-hmm. this is something that I had to recognize about my own, like, uh, darkness, right? Like, mm-hmm. my depressive tendencies or, like, my anxiety or any of these things, right? Mm-hmm. I had to recognize, I'm like, damn, like, 
these states of being are always gonna be there for me, right? Like yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always, always, right? Mm-hmm. In my dietary change, right? I've been vegan for five years, right? That mm-hmm. McDonald's at the corner has never not been there. Right. It has always been an option for me. It has always been somewhere that I could have navigated to. Mm-hmm. And if I allowed myself to continue falling back on the habitual nature of me depending on it as a food source, as mm-hmm. a resource, I would always go back to it. But mm-hmm. I had to have the willingness and the, term, the determination of self to say, okay, I know you'll always be there, but I have to have the strength within me to not choose this as an yeah, option. Right. And right. I have to go towards right. what I deem is beneficial for me in my life. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. as I am making that change, I'm noticing other people are making that change too. And as I am seeing that, I'm noticing the price of vegan food is going down. down bro. Bro. See what I'm true, saying? True. Hey, so we down. as the consumer have an influence on the way that the system provides to That's us. That's true. Because we, we have the spending power. We yeah. have the influence to say, oh, like, we're not going to choose you anymore. But that's a self-change that exactly. works its way out. Exactly. Exactly. But that's the way I feel it always works. It, it always starts works that with way. one person, bro. two people, yep. three people, yeah. four people, and, and things change. I, I, be, be, before, before you, before you, we only have a few ahead. more minutes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I just want to do final thoughts. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah. well, while we're going here. So we'll start with you, bro. All right, final thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. And each yeah. other. Mm. Jerry Springer. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. <laughs> That's good. Yo, when he said it, anyways. But no, that I stole, yeah. it all starts with ourselves Facts. and being consistent Facts. at working at whatever we're trying to do, trying to be successful, mm-hmm. trying to work our visions, motivate, mm-hmm. stay motivated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what really matters. Everything else, legit, starts mm-hmm. with you and you influence yep. your surroundings, mm-hmm. your environment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, as usual, I mean, community, man. Mm-hmm. You know, each one to each one. You know, mm-hmm. We got to take care of each other. You know, and it's mm-hmm. not anybody's responsibility to necessarily take care of us, but if we're all helping one another. And we're all, you know, transparent with ourselves and one another. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, we're all striving to be in the same or go in the same direction, per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I feel like, you know, anything is possible. Like, you know, no man is an island. Facts. I mean, like, and I feel like so often we uh, we fall back into our that you know sense of survival. It's like, mm-hmm. ah, right, well, I gotta do yep. it, you know, by myself. But nah, that it, it shouldn't have to be like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. And I feel like the best results come from that that communion of sorts. So mm-hmm. you know, take care of each other, man. Absolutely, yeah, that's, best. That's, that's it's best. best Absolutely, you know, check on your peoples for sure. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I win do. together. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We will conquer these, but second time. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I would say is, um, continue to pour into yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Um, fill your own cup first and foremost, so mm-hmm. that you can run it over and then provide to the world, right? Mm-hmm. Like when you provide yourself with value, right? Then that's <laughs> when you can reach a level of personal self-care and understanding and love that you're able to flow it over abundantly and to give to others and to then receive to reap the benefits of you pouring into yourself in that way Mm -hmm. right like cultivate the things that you find purposeful right Mm -hmm. like uh pursue your passions and the things that your gut instinct your intuition drives you towards because oftentimes those are the, the ways in which like those are the frequencies where you resonate highest right that's those are the Mm -hmm. harmonic resonances Mm -hmm. in your life right so trust your intuition that is guiding you towards whatever passion or creative ability or whatever business endeavor that you want to pursue like go for that be true to yourself um be consistent in that endeavor Mm -hmm. right don't let the world dissuade you or persuade you into Mm -hmm. thinking otherwise right Mm -hmm. like we talk about in fighting right like don't let don't be reactionary to that other person right Fight your fight. One step, you know what one I'm saying. Punch. Be, <laughs> be, be on your pivot. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, this was good. I, I mean, you guys all had great points. <laughs> I think I'll just reiterate some more, um, more of the same. Uh, where can we find y'all when we want to continue the conversation? Um, I got two Instagrams. If you know the person, you know it. Uh, but Mel Nigga underscore Titan. Uh, 
that's where you can find all the vegan eats. Yeah. And then it's uh, pushing that, you know, all the food, all the good good things for your life and your soul. Oh, okay. yeah, talk about but, uh, it. Yeah, yeah. melanated underscore T I C A N. Um, you find me on IG, the underscore real, realtor underscore investor. Yeah, peace and blessings, y'all. Y'all can find me on all of the social media channels at MR Wild, E N Free. And um, if you're on Clubhouse, follow me there too, because I'm about to start some really cool conversations there. Yeah, link to the channel. All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> and um, you guys could find us on the Low Up on our YouTube channel. Also, you can find me, Lee, at Lee as we know him. Guys, it's another episode of Low Up. Um, I enjoyed the conversation. We out.